It's going to be a good time. I, I think we're going to have a good crowd. We've got a lot of activities going on, and but uh, we're having a big parade. They're having a, a horse show. They're having a lot of activities. Uh, they're having a big tent out in front. Going back in the 40s and 50s and, well, prior to that, Remsen, like most small towns, were big, lively Saturday night towns when everybody came to town to do, do whatever business they had to get done. So, naturally, that's changed. Everybody hops in their car now and runs somewhere else any given time of the week. Over the years, there's been a multitude of changes. I remember... Uh, when I bought the newspaper in 1959, we had uh, three car dealers, maybe four, three for sure, three grocery stores, we had a men's store, a ladies' clothing store, uh, three or four implement dealers, I can't recall exactly. So it was a much livelier town business-wise. And of course we fell victim to progress, as so many small towns have, we lost the uh, grocery stores with the exception of one good one we have. Uh, car dealers, of course, are basically all gone. We're talking new car dealers. Um, farming at that time was, was good. I mean, it was we didn't have big farms like we do now because there were probably three or four farms on one section and now there's there's probably one farm in four sections so that's how that's how it's uh, is how much has changed so we've lost all the little farmers and uh, everything just got bigger and bigger and bigger and and uh, that's the way it's progressed and uh, then the smaller towns they just kept losing business because of that and and we used to have uh, like four farmers on one section buying machinery and and groceries and everything else. Now, like I say, you have one farm or one farmer on four sections, so uh, that takes away a lot of a lot of business, and and that's what's happened. So What kind of childhood did you have growing up? I mean, was it fun, um, small town all, or? Yeah, I mean, there's only a certain, like, there's like a small group of people, so it's like really good friendships, like, um, I don't know, it's always safe. We were always riding bikes and stuff. Our parents didn't really worry about us too much. And I'll have to agree with that. We could just kind of run around and didn't have to worry about crime or nothing. I actually came back, um, after I graduated from two years of college, and then um, I recently moved to Lamar's, which is only 10 miles away, and now I currently live there. Residential-wise, uh, we have grown. We've gotten some nice uh, developments, and uh, we have a fly here that won't leave me alone. <laughs> we, we do have nice uh, residential areas. Uh, Remsen has a reputation for being a, a, a nice, neat town. Neat and hard to beat was the slogan, actually. Gary Holzman, I lived here for uh, 35, 35 years. Here in Ramson? Yes. 
I'm a carpenter. I build a lot of houses in, in town, help with uh, a lot of other developments and stuff, and helping build the houses and repair. And, and, uh, well, population probably has went down a little bit, but mostly it's the kids, not near as many ch children in each, uh, for schools anyway, so we've dropped in the schools that we're thinking about merging and doing things together with different schools, but still a strong school, what we've got, both of them. And uh, businesses, a lot of good businesses yet. We, we used to have a couple grocery stores, we're down to one anyway, and uh, still have a great hardware store. And uh, uh, meat market and carpet, a couple carpet places and uh, uh. towns are that way, they're, they're bedroom towns and, and we have so many people that live here that work uh, in Lamar's and uh, they work at the hospital, they work at Wells and uh, other businesses over there, some people they live or they drive to uh, Dakota Dunes every day to work and that's with the price of gas, that gets that gets pretty spendy. It's, that's 50 miles up there, and but that's just the way things have changed. You know, it, we have to have two people working now, and uh, just to make a living. I'm 80 years old, and I'm not sure I'll make the next hundred, but uh, <laughs> or the next 25. But uh, no, I think uh, I think it's still a good, strong community here. Uh, Needless to say, the changes have been have been many, and uh, I think the people are uh, still basically the good people, you know. Like Noel, I don't think I'm going to be here. <laughs> but uh, the last three quarter of a century hasn't been too bad, so so uh, I'll just be around as long as I can, and and because uh, I got a lot of people to pester yet. So other than that, yeah, I just I hope we can keep on going, and and uh, we do have a lot of farmers. Uh, we've got a big farmers elevator here, and and uh, we've got another feed service, Gangler Feed Service. Um, they they're doing great guns with uh, with a lot of hog confinements and so forth. So uh, right now we're doing we're kind of holding our own, and and uh, I don't see us growing, but. But hopefully we can we can stay stable and and uh, provide a good life for for our people here. And this fly is going to kill me. <laughs> <laughs>